What's going on guys, Sledgehammer70, and today is the day. We are installing the Stainless Works full catback system on the car. And I got the, I dropped off some of the pieces at the shop yesterday, so this is the leftover pieces. Just made it a little bit easier so I didn't have to carry th everything in the car and worry about vibrations and getting it all messed up or dented or shouldn't be a problem, but I'm excited. So here we go, gonna do the full install and uh, do some sound tests, etc. So let's do this. <laughs> Okay guys, car is lifted, as you can see, off the ground. Got my main man Dustin over there gonna be doing this for me. <laughs> and one of the first steps, obviously, is taking off the, the stock muffler. So you'll see there's a lot of hang points, hangers, one on each side. We're gonna be taking this brace off. You got three or two bolts on this side, three on that side. You can see Dustin's already unplugging all the sensors, this uh, O2 sensors. And you want to break them loose before you take it off so it's easier to... Yep. Break loose the uh, the O2 sensors themselves. And this is a pretty new car with low miles, so it's probably not going to be too gunked up or hard to get to, but... It's pretty tight. <laughs> and then you'll see we already... Uh, so because my car has the active fuel management, you have to unplug the sensors and we'll be unbolting these and putting them on the new one. And then same with the MPP valve. So yeah, so that's the first part. We're gonna be undoing all that and uh, drop this bad boy down. Okay, pain point number one. To get to the MVP, it's kind of a bitch, unless you have little tiny hands. So probably unbolting these are what we're thinking is gonna be the easiest part. Or unbolting those will make it easier. So one of the things, this is one of the clamps you're going to have to undo to disconnect from the primary cap. And it took a little bit of a rubber mallet to knock it free. Uh, you can still see it's still pretty tight in there, but uh, this is a slip fit. This is going to be easier to do, but dropping the whole exhaust is going to be interesting because we do have to get this out first. We're going to have to undo all the hangers to slide it back and drop it down. Okay, so stock exhaust has been dropped. This thing looks like a piece of crap. <laughs> so you can see we've already taken off the MPP valves. So I'm gonna unscrew and unbolt the active fuel management valves here. Here's the stock X pipe. Looks like there's heat shielding built onto the top of this. Might want to look into reusing that. 
So these are flex points. So, you know, when you're taking a corner at a gazillion miles an hour, your pipes aren't getting all jacked up. And your secondary cats, which, hmm, yes, they're being removed. So the tricky part when pulling out the whole exhaust was the rear hangers that are sitting basically right above here. And at those points, hopefully you can see, um, we basically pulled the exhaust fully back to get it to remove from the cats. So you can see here, this is a slip joint uh, for the installation. So we had to pull the whole thing back and also to clear these two bolts. This would be really hard to do if it wasn't on a lift. So I, you, can't, uh, you can't weekend warrior this without, I mean on jacks. And if you did, it's gonna be really hard because uh, you saw how much we had to pry, get like a pry bar. I actually pried at this point right here um, to get it to come free. Uh, but once we pulled it back, just, and you're not gonna have this in the stock setup, but since I have the rear diffuser that closes it out, yours will probably be easier to drop out overall. So unfortunately, putting the body kit on made it a little bit tougher for us, but it will be a little bit easier for you because you'll have, you don't have to clear the bottom here, so. There you go. Alrighty guys, the next part of this is for off-road use only, and that is the sole purpose of what we'll be doing here. Your two cats, so we have one here, one there. Dustin is feverishly trying to unhook sensors. There's they put them in really easy spots too. Thank you. Oh, the sensors or the? The plugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you'll see on the cat, there's four bolts up in here that you have to get. You do have the O2 sensor that you have to unplug, which is kind of hidden on the back side. Not super easy to get to. This is the driver's side, same thing, four bolts and the plug. Okay, cat removed, cat removed. There was a brace right here that holds both cats. He undid a couple bolts on them, left one in, dropped the one cat, then went over to the other side. Pretty simple. Now we're uh, test fitting the positioning of the new one. I think all the sensors will be a little bit easier to place. There's also your oil filter, for those of you who don't know. There you go. There's your stock Tri-Y header sitting up in there. Looking pretty good. And then we have the stock cats. So I found it really interesting. This side, the ports are about the same size on each side. But this one, the hole there, or the hole there, a lot bigger than the hole there. Look at all that carbon buildup already. That's insane. Hate to see what that looks like after 20, 30,000 miles. So again, we're putting these cats on for off-road use. Uh, it's just a temp placement on the car. We will be putting the stock cats back on after the testing. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be freaking awesome. Okay guys, it's at this point that we will start putting all the miscellaneous pieces on. So getting the actuators, make it so you can actually see. So this goes on pretty easily, just slides right in. The only downside is, is the clearance for the bolts isn't as easy to get to. So you're not gonna be able to get like a socket in here, but you can get an open end wrench pretty easily. So you can see the system, you can see on the actuator here, the two little clips, and those slide right into the that groove. So this is gonna, whoop. And then I break it. No, I'm kidding. So, but you literally just slide that right on in. I'm good to go. So if you remember, we actually left the uh, active fuel management actuators on the car here. So we just need to break these off. And swap them over. 
And the only reason why we're putting these on the car is so the car still thinks they're in place. So remember, my new system doesn't actually have these valves. It is hot and muggy. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm sweating. I'm sorry. But so I finished installing all the actuators for the MPP dual mode and for the AFM. Now we're actually starting on getting the pieces in. So you'll see the high flow cats are now bolted in. So the four bolts up top, sensors are back in place. Now we're getting the first part of the exhaust on. This is a slide piece in the kit. It's the smallest clamp, C clamp. Uh, we'll be putting that on sideways. You can see he's uh, wrestling her into place and getting it all set up. So and you want to make sure these are nice. You don't want to tighten them all up because we're going to be... Uh -oh. We're not going to be tightening it up too tight because we have to get the fitment and alignment and all that stuff. That's going to be the hardest part with this build. Um, but making sure the pieces are slid in all the way is key. Or that, or you're gonna have an exhaust that's sticking out a foot on the backside. So. And leaks. Huh? Lots of leaks. Yeah, and you don't want leaks. We want to make sure it's nice and slid in. The clamps are on tight, so you avoid any exhaust leaks, which in turn will throw CELs and cause potential problems. Or you'll have a really funny-sounding exhaust. So we're gonna we're gonna keep jamming on that. Hopefully, my other camera catches it pretty good. Uh, but yeah, next step is getting the X-pipe on after this. So we'll get to that in just a moment. So one of the biggest things you do want to make sure to do is on these parts here when you're connecting regardless if it's a high flow or the stock cat, use a good amount of anti-seeds. You, you it can't go wrong. So we put anti-seeds on the bolts, on the nuts, on all the pieces, getting it right. So now we got the X-pipe, that's the next piece to install. You can see how these bad boys sit up in here. Again, all the bolts up in here are loose, they're not completely tight right now we'll do all the tightening at the end. So you wanna make sure all your pieces get up and in, they're fitted right, and then we tighten everything down once everything's in place. So we're gonna get the X-pipe in and go from there. So you see the clamps are hanging pretty loosely here for a reason. We got it in place so the pipes are sitting up around uh, the pieces. But man's best friend, rubber mallet. Again, it is very important you get this part seated right or your exhaust is going to be sticking out a foot on the back side. Once again, you'll see we have the bolt patterns lined up, so they're the same. Slid these in on the X-pipe. Installed the hangers here. Sorry, my hand's in the way. So hangers both sides, make sure it's lined up. So we're just that much closer to getting it come out the back. There's gonna be some adjustments, obviously, across the board, but starting to look like a good system.
So we put in some basically grease or oil, what are you, BD blaster? PB blaster. PB blaster on all the hanger points to make it easy. It was a little hard. Again, my exhaust is a little different than most because I do have the body kit that wraps underneath, so you have to kind of tuck it in. But we got the hangers over here, all in, slid in. Don't forget to put your clamps on. You forget to put your clamps on, you're effed. Uh, but now it is sliding, adjusting, making sure it tucks in right. Yeah, you can see the tips. You wanna make sure the gap is good. Um, I have a feeling they're gonna slide forward a little bit, but this one's sticking out just a little bit, so we'll get that, we'll get that adjusted and and aligned, but that's really the last part of all of this is lining everything up, getting it looking good, making sure it's clearance all underneath, and then uh, make sure the O2 sensors are on, make sure everything's connected again, the MPP, the AMF, or AFM valves, so they have power, because if you start your car up now, it's gonna be a Christmas tree without everything installed, so. So, this is the most important step. So you've seen us install everything. There are some nightmare pieces. Some of the bolts, you're gonna have to get tricky. We, we got really smart over here. So this bolt, we could not get the nut and the lock washer and everything on. So what we actually did is we put the, the adapter and the nut, tightened it, used a pair of pliers, gripped it, and then undid it all, and then put the lock washer on so it was easier to put on. Tech point, be smarter than the, the brackets. So we installed these ones. You can see we got them at a nice angle, nice lined up. Dustin's working on that one. He's a, he's a perfectionist, which I love. That's why I come see Dustin. So he wants it to all look good. So he's trying to get it all lined up properly and uh, get it sitting good. Uh, but the next step is get these tightened up. Get these rear ones tightened up. And as you can see from the back side, we got it lined up pretty good. So you'll see over here, Looking really nice, really nice. But look, no suitcase. Ah, oh, looks sexy. So sexy. So one thing I did want to highlight, if you're wondering what washers in the bag, what they're for, so you'll see a little bag of washers. They're basically spacers here. And the whole point of them is for this metal piece here, it extends it down so it's not hitting our brand new sexy X-pipe. So they're pretty thick, but they'll go in there. You'll be good to go. So don't forget to install these. Yeah. The other side is, and one thing that you didn't get instructions for was the adapter. So on the AFM valve on this, on the driver side, you have to put the extension, but they don't give you goddamn zip ties. So luckily Dustin had some zip ties, zipped it tie up all nice. So they're not going to touch the pipe or cause problems. Bam. There you go guys that was the install for the stainless works full system plus the off-road pipes as well cat deletes again this is for testing only those are going to be coming off and the stock cats will be going on i'll do another video at that time 
But holy crap, that was a long morning. Didn't take too long, but just a little bit of work. It's super hot. It's already like 100 degrees out here. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the install. The thing sounds amazing. It sounds exactly how I wanted it to. So super happy. Um, thank you, Stainless Works. You guys have been awesome to work with in regards to customer support and everything. Um, and I just want to caveat again, I did buy this system um, and I think it's worth every penny so far. So we're gonna drive it for a couple weeks, maybe a week, come back, check all the bolts, make sure they're tightened up, make sure the alignment is all still good. But outside of that, um, hopefully this install guide was helpful for you guys. And until next time, I will see you on the road.